And in order to understand what's going on in the universe's back, we first have to uh, look at and understand some of the anatomy of what's underneath the skin. So if we look at the parapolumbar spine, you can see uh, here this, this finger-like projection coming up from the um, vertebrae. And there, this is called the dorsal spinous process. There is one on each vertebrae. There's also um, a series of joints illustrated here. And uh, there is a joint connecting every vertebrae in the horse's spine. So that's, we're, we'll be moving kind of from the inside out. So the bony structures are the most internal. Moving out, we then have the multifidus muscle, which is a small muscle that lies basically on the edge of the uh, dorsal spinous process. And there's been a lot of studies in human medicine regarding this muscle, which we'll talk about at the end of this lecture. Um, and I think it's starting to gain some importance uh, in veterinary medicine as well. Uh, beyond that, we have the apaxial muscles, which is a, a series of three muscles that make this group up. And this is a, a large group of muscles that lies basically right underneath where your saddle would fit. And then moving outward, we have some of the soft tissue uh, supporting structures. So the supraspinous ligament, you can see it runs right over the top of the um, of the dorsal spinous processes and runs all along the top and it will insert onto each one of these as well. And so we can have injury of this, like any soft tissue ligament, we can have injury there as well. Here's just another schematic showing its basic, sorry about that. It's basically a continuation of the nuchal ligament that runs down the neck and then the, the supraspinous ligament running over the vertebrae of the back. We also have what we call an interspinous ligament and uh, that is connecting each of these dorsal spinous processes. Um, and we'll talk about uh, medical procedures that we do with this uh, down later in the lecture. 